I show to you how to make a katsuramuki using the katsuramuki machine. Before I often uh, using manual preparation for the katsuramuki as a traditional way in the sushi bar. But now I prefer to use this uh, chiba peeler turner turning slicer machine. It's easy and very fast to make the katsuramuki garnishing for the sashimi. And you can order this through online. This machine is easy to use and fast. And the result of this is very fine and thin. The result of the cutting. Look at the result of the machine. It's very fast, perfect, and balanced. There is no leak or mark of the knife you can see. It's a plain beautiful. And it takes seconds only when you peel, peel off the radish. So now I am filing the thin slice of uh, radish or they call it uh, daikon. Layer by layer. So possibly this is the correct way of uh, making of uh, chuma for garnishing for the sashimi some chef if they using mix some uh, carrots and chuma to enhance the color of the chuma and then the carrots but uh, normally like a traditional uh, chef mostly in sushi bar is we using only for radish only if you want some uh, more colorful in your sashimi so you can also do that like carrots and then also some uh, cucumber anything that have colorful that can use for garnishing for sashimi chuma and then when you cut make sure it's very thinly sliced because uh, easy to easy to eat to the customer and also the texture of the daikon if thin slice will be crispy will mostly soak with the uh, ice cold water and then with the time to make it dry and then when serving together with the sashimi and then when customer eat it's crispy crispy and then can take the shelf life longer and takes around four days in the chiller if very crispy This is the basic way how to process the chuma. First, you need to wash first with the plain water. And then second is you need to transfer into the ice cold water. And uh, just leave, leave it up there for almost uh, 20 minutes to make it a uh, crispy texture of the chuma. And then later on, we can use for the strainer to make it dry around uh, 10 minutes outside and later on can keep in the chiller for preparation for the sashimi Now I'm making the mixed sashimi when you call it the makasi sashimi. So first I put the fugu or proper fish sashimi together with the skin and meat. And in the orange one is an orange roshi and spring onion. And then in the next we will need chuma. I put some chuma in the left side. Later on I put some oba leaf. And this normally this one we're using for our sashimi course menu it's a small portion of uh, sashimi course it's a variety of fish inside one is have the hamachi then normally I put some plum sauce and then uh, chuturo 
and kurumutsu they call it a black blue eye fish with a top of uh, sea urchin and then uh, that's all for our uh, sashimi course